comments online where it went like, oh, this new full zip is like more flimsy, it's not as thick of a material. And let me confirm that for you because I have all of them, including a really old one from like 10 years ago plus. Let me do a little bit of a science feel here. Oh, look at that. Hello everybody, my name is Rosanna and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something really exciting, a comparison of all the scuba hoodies. We have a couple of additions here and I am so excited to show you a bunch of my collection here for scuba hoodies. What we're really comparing the most is we want to see the major differences between the crop that new style that just dropped recently, the scuba full zip cropped hoodie, which is this one here, compared with the classics, the oversized funnel neck, etc. So the most, let me just start from the very beginning. I don't have every, every single style here, but this is probably one of the oldest scuba hoodies. Oh no, I have one more, but not here. But same style though, this is probably the oldest scuba hoodie I have. And it's so, I mean, I don't, I won't say it's so old, but this is actually a little bit bigger. I think it's probably like a size six, so it, it looks a little bit bigger too. And it's a year where they use like a special zipper where it has like a slight metallic looking zipper. You can see that it's worn here and even the zipper in the front is the old version compared to, I'll show you a newer scuba hoodie. Now they use like these straighter ones and the zipper is different. This one is like a metallic-y. So the, for the older scuba hoodies, but this one's quite similar. It's a longer length, it's past the hips and it's more of a slim fit through the sleeves as well as the body. So I feel like this look was so incredibly popular, probably like 2007, 2006, all the way to like 2015 or so. So this style actually lasted for a really long time. So I do have a couple of them and we all loved that I had the big embroidery scuba logo in the back. They still sell this style today this one that I got in this like colorful purple print, I actually only got this a couple years ago. So you can still see that embroidery in the back, but I'm just showing you like the differences. This is the oldest one I have and that puff embroidery on the hood is actually, it's actually thicker. It, it's more, it's more high. And this one, which I got only a few years ago, like two or three years ago, is flatter now. So I guess they updated it from this puffy one. I really like the puffy one. It adds like so much dimension to it. But overall, the for the other parts, they're pretty similar for this classic scuba hoodie. So this is the classic scuba hoodie. And then what became really popular was this. This was my first oversized scuba hoodie with the half zip. This was my first one, um, a light purple. You've probably seen it in different videos. I wear it so often. And again, that they still have that nice logo in the back and it's should be the same. Let me have a look with you. So with that classic scuba hoodie and the new oversized half zip, it's the same like embroidery in the back. It's right on the hood. I actually love it. It's so subtle, but again, it's like so big, but so subtle. Um, and the big notable differences for these ones is that this is no longer tight to body and it's a lot more cropped and everything is a lot more loose. Like the sleeves are like two times as big as these sleeves. And these two are the same size. These ones are like the extra small slash small. And then these ones would come in the numbers like 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, you know, that kind of thing. And the sleeves are a big difference. You can see that it's nearly double the size for the oversized compare here, like that. Yeah, 
you can see it's almost double it's pretty much double so these ones are like a lot looser they're a lot looser around the armpit area too um but everyone really really liked these and these became like the hottest thing ever this was i believe this was the first one that actually ever came out and then after the success of this Lululemon started to do a lot of different ones so after this one um, my next one I got was I can't quite remember now but um, I did get this same one so for this half zip with a hood I own two it's just these two that I have um, this one I got fairly recently I got this one beginning of 2023 or end of 2022 but I'm really sad about this because I recently was cooking with it and I don't even need to tell you I've already washed this once yes those are oil stains and this is a really old one too and it's also kind of discolored over time right now surprisingly I can't see it but I recall parts of it being more yellow oh especially at the sleeve here you can see at the sleeve it's become here it's like no longer purple it's like a light purple the sleeves just colored a little bit but this one is quite sad because this one is quite new and i already got some oil stains on it so be really careful with all your scuba hoodies this kind of cotton material i think it stains really easily but these two the exact same style exact same silhouette and then came you know the funnel and at first I was not a fan of the funnel I, I don't know why even I saw on the models other people owning it I didn't see the hype around the funnel version and the funnel version is the exact same as the oversized um, half zip with the hood but no hood it just has this funnel but the nice thing about the funnel which you don't realize before you try it on yourself is that it's a double layer or like a three layer it's very thick here it almost feels like a little scarf whereas for this one it doesn't feel as thick or maybe just because it's taller so this feels like really substantial it's not like us it's not a single layer it's definitely at least like a double layer and maybe it has like interfacing or something inside because it feels really like cozy around your neck when you want to zip it all the way up and i like that this one is I know it's still like a hoodie but for some reason the funnel is more it's more elegant this one which is the reason why I like hoodies with like the items of the hood it's very casual you know you could just wear it anywhere this one with the funnel is almost more elevated it's all it almost gives me like tennis club vibes like if or like if you're gonna wear it zipped all unzipped all the way it almost gives like a sailor vibe and then if you zip it halfway it gives like like i'm at a golf club vibe but i'm bougie and then zipped all the way it just feels so nice against your skin i don't usually zip it all the way up but if i'm like cold or i'm like actually running errands i need to do things i zip it all the way up and it's like i'm actually being warm like i'm actually warm so i do actually love the funnel and now I only own one funnel, but you did see in the last haul, I just got this new um, fleece version and this is also a funnel, but because it's like the fleece pile, it's, um, it's very different than the, the classic scuba. So I, I would almost put this in a category of its own, but if Lululemon comes out with like new materials for these classic silhouettes, now they're considered classic. I would definitely look into it like this fleece one was such a it's so cool it's very different on um and i did tell you that this is actually a medium slash large but because it's so cozy and everything is oversized anyways i actually love it so i think either size kind of works it just depends how like oversized cozy you want or if you want it slightly more slim fit for these ones, we, it doesn't have the hood, so it won't have that embroidery logo in the back, but it just has the same embroidery logo, but slightly smaller, and it's lower down. It's a slightly smaller logo, if you see that, but it's still made of the same embroidery. All of these ones have that kangaroo pocket. 
and inside it has that mesh pocket inside. So that mesh pocket, it doesn't run throughout the whole garment. The mesh pocket is probably around here and it's like a tighter pocket that's in the inside that if you were to put, let's say if you had to take out your AirPods really quickly or your keys or like some change really quickly, you could just pop it into this mesh pocket. I'm trying to pull it out, but it's kind of hard to show you. Um, you would just put it in the mesh pocket inside of the garment so that it doesn't slip out of the kangaroo pocket because, you know, classic hoodie pockets, everything's just going to fall out, right? So if your items of importance, you would put in that mesh pocket. Okay, now we go for the good stuff. Okay, we're almost there actually. And then we have this one, which I, you saw in a couple of hauls, I think I actually end up getting two of these um, just because they're so classic. They're the same as these ones again, but this one is a full zip. This one's a half zip. This one is a full zip oversized in black. I end up wearing black half my life, even though I have so much colorful clothes, I really needed a black one. Very similar, but the pockets, because it's a full zip, it's that kangaroo pocket, but split in half. And the mesh pockets, that tighter mesh pocket I was just telling you about, always happens on the right side, at least for the women's clothing. For the men's, I'm not so sure, but the women's, it's always on the right side. So on the right side of the pocket, again, you can find a mesh pocket. Oh, this one is actually not mesh. This one is actually like a Nulu fabric. Interesting. This is the first time I noticed that. Okay. Well, but anyways, there's a little hidden pocket that's a little bit tighter. It's like, it's not very big, but you can put like coins again, maybe one credit card or uh, AirPods. I always say that because that's usually what I use it for. Um, I'm usually like carrying my AirPods around and then if I need to like talk to someone, I just take it off and like put it in there so I don't lose it. And now we go to the actual good stuff now. This is the newest silhouette they came out with and it's the scuba full zip cropped. There's so many pros and cons about all of these. The most classic styles here, there's a huge pile of these on my chair now, but here we are, the classic OG scuba hoodie full zip that goes all the way down hip length. The best seller for the last couple of years, the oversized full zip scuba hoodie with a hood and the newest style, which is the cropped full zip scuba. If you notice the trend, they get shorter and shorter. This one is like hip length, this one's kind of like at the waist of your jeans and this one's like even shorter. So if you look even at the newest one and the cropped, this is a size four. I got a size four in this. It's shorter by like two inches. And then if I put the classic one in the back here, like, you know, rough measurements and all. Oh, it's so heavy, my arms. <laughs> Okay, well, not the best measurements, but it's again, longer in the back, like two inches. So they get like shorter and shorter. Oh, it's too heavy to hold out all at once. But the biggest thing I think is also that, and I'm kind of sad about this. I really hope it comes out with a new version, but this new cropped hoodie doesn't have pockets. It doesn't have pockets. So I'm really sad about that. And I'm gonna guess maybe it's too, short to have pockets because it, it like literally fits now it fits right above my jeans like and I'm wearing high-waisted jeans because I'm a millennial um so I don't wear those loose baggy jeans I, I at least not yet and they don't have pockets and I'm just really sad about that because it's a lot of clothing already doesn't have pockets and I'm, if I'm wearing this with leggings the ones with no pockets and I have no pockets I really like the cropped oversized full zip because it has pockets. No pockets. And I think they're the same price. So it's not like there's a big price difference. It's all really the same thing. Um, the zipper and everything, all the trims are the same for the oversized scuba zip as well as the cropped.
crop version. There's still that logo in the back, which is why I got confused about which was which earlier. But the logo in the back for both of these are the same. The design lines overall are very similar, but this one, which is the, when it first came out a couple months ago, I couldn't wrap my head around it so much because it has such a bat wing. Like it's like very tight at the waist, but it has such a bat wing at the armpit here that when you zip it up, it almost like swallows you. There's like a lot of fabric on the top for this cropped version, but I've grown to like it. And I feel like this is almost like a cuter look when you have it unzipped. Cause when you zip it all the way up, I don't know, it's not my favorite. However, I do like that it stayed consistent. It all has those um, thumb holes, all of these, even from all the ones I just showed you, the scuba oversized full zip, the classic, classic way back in the day. Um, with the long hip length version also has the thumb holes so i think that's remained consistent so that's really good and i personally um love hiding my hands for whatever reason maybe it's like a nervous thing but like i love going like this i love the thumb holes so much the sleeves on the full zip and i guess it might depend on the size you get but the sleeves are a little bit shorter so i find for this cropped version now, I can't put my thumb like through without stretching the fabric a little bit more. Um, this is for the full zip one for the, uh, I know I'm just saying a lot of words now, but, oh, the sleeves are a little bit shorter. This one is the, the one on the front is the oversized full zip and the one in the back here is the cropped and you can see the sleeves they have a difference in that ribbing here and let me just measure out the sleeves for you because I swear that the cropped one is shorter in sleeves I think I just tricked myself because I think it's the same okay well I lied they are exactly the same length the sleeve is exactly the same length. I have a size four in the new one and the old one I have an extra slash slash small and the sleeve length is exactly the same. However, they feel different. They really do feel different. I think the other one's tighter. This new one is tighter. So it feels, it feels shorter. Okay, now I gotta, now I just gotta measure all of them. This is the classic scuba hoodie in a size four too. Oh, look at that. They all line up at that armpit seam. So they're all the same length and sleeves. So the sizing in that sense is consistent. So for everyone that goes on the comments, go like the sizing is off. I guess the sizing is the same, but it does feel smaller and it's kind of flimsy. And I read comments online where I went like, oh, this new full zip is like more flimsy. It's not as thick of a material. And let me confirm that for you because I have all of them, including a really old one from like 10 years ago plus. Let me do a little bit of a science feel here. I'm just, just touching it. Okay, conclusion, it is a little thinner. The material is slightly thinner in this newest crop scuba hoodie compared to the OG, the scuba hoodie that everyone used to have like 10 years ago. You won't be able to see it on camera, you just kind of trust me for this, but all the reviews say it if you go online. Everyone's complaining about it, but it's true. It is thinner. This this cropped one is thinner than the original, original scuba hoodie. And would I say that's a bad thing? No, not necessarily. I'm just saying that it is true. I do think that the original one is heavier. And 
not only that, but because the original scuba hoodie is so much longer than this little dude, look how short this one is. This fabric goes on forever. It's going to feel physically heavier too, just because it's bigger. It's going to feel like really substantial, right? And this one feels like, like a light little thing because it's also so much smaller. It's like 30% less fabric. But it's true, the material does feel thinner. This one does feel thicker. And again, keep in mind that this is really old, so it's not like a new one. But the, the fabric feels slightly rougher on my very old scuba hoodie. And this one feels really soft, but that could be just because this one's brand new and this one is uh, not brand new. But it, I can tell this is thicker. You can see that this one is like more worn. Not really, I guess on, line, on, on the camera you can't see too much. But those are the major differences. I would say the type of fabric they use looks very similar even from the one from 10 years ago, like the ribbing. You can, this top one is the newest one. The bottom one here is the OG. Visually, they look very similar. So maybe it could be like the old batch from years ago and the new batches now, I don't know. Um, but regardless, we know that the fabric for this oversized, no, not oversized, the fabric for the cropped scuba is slightly thinner. Everything is about the same. It's freaking adorable. So if you like it, try it out. And even for me, the first time I tried it on in the stores, I didn't quite like it. And then I, I kind of warmed up to it, you know, it's like, so I'm going to try it on again and then again. And then I was like, all right, I'll take two. And then I grabbed the one in lavender because it's so cute. And now I'm kind of considering other colors. But I also do agree that this style isn't for everybody because it's like cropped. And even I don't want to be like showing my belly button all the time. And it's like, this pair is best if you're wearing those high-waisted leggings. But I, I personally will not be wearing like low rider jeans or leggings and wearing this cropped hoodie too there's like no protection anywhere there's no, nothing um but i do think it's really cute and yes i will be wearing this to death i did not even get a chance to like i pulled the tag off this one like a week ago i wore it like three times already before i could even sit down and end up filming this video so i do love it and i think it's such a gorgeous contrast but I do admit, my personal opinion, it doesn't fit. I don't think everyone would like it. I don't think everyone would like it. I think the, the crowd pleaser is really the oversized scuba full zip or the half zip. I think that's the best. And I'm already planning out other colors I want to get. But I'm really trying to narrow it down. I say this every video. But this time is for real. I plan to get maybe one or two more for these scuba hoodies and then I think I'm done for a while. I really like, you know how much highly I talked about this funnel neck? There's a beautiful like light blue that just came out and I kind of want that one. And maybe the cropped hoodie in maybe that hot pink color, it's called pink lipstick. And, but maybe I don't have anything because look, this is brand new. I didn't even wear it yet. I still have the tags on it. Um, so I think I should also just wear the stuff I have because, because why not, you know, let's just try to be a little more sustainable with our shopping, shall we? Okay, well, that was a comparison video. That was a lot going on. Um, you know, I just like to talk and I have so much things to share with you that I love. Please, Blue Lemon, if you could make the next crop scuba hoodie with pockets, that would be amazing. I would pay an extra $10 for it. And I'm sure a lot of you guys would too. I don't think it'll add too much bulk. I think it'll be so much better if we had some sort of pockets, you know, even if it's like for a second. All right. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in my next one.